In this example, we are given that a copper wire has a square cross section of 6 mm on the side, and the wire is 10 meter long and carries a current of 3.6 ampere. Free electron density is also given at 8.5 into 10 to the power 28 per meter cube, and we are required to find the current density in the wire and time taken for an electron to travel through the length of the wire. Now, in this situation, we know that uh, Current density in a current flowing conductor can be written as G is equals to I upon S. If we talk about the cross sectional area of the wire, this can be written as A square as it is of a square cross section. In the side A we can write as 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter whole square that will be 36 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square. If we substitute the values over here, current density we can get here will be 3.6 divided by current we are given at 3.6 ampere. Total area is 36 into 10 to power minus 6 meters square. On simplifying it is 10 to power 5 ampere per meter square that is a current density which is one of the answer to this problem. Here we are also required to find the time taken for an electron to travel the length of the wire. So here we can calculate the time taken by electron to travel the wire is this time we can write down the length divided by the drift speed. This is the average time taken actually. Because through the length L of the wire, electron is traveling with the speed VD. If we substitute the value of VD over here, it is L upon VD can be written as G over any. If we substitute the values, you can see the length of wire is 10 meter. Free electron density we are given at 8.5 into 10 to power 28 per meter cube. Electron charge we know it is 1.6 into 10 to power minus 19. Divided by the current density we have calculated is 10 to power 5. On simplifying this expression, finally we will get is 1.36 into 10 to power 6 second. That will be the answer to this problem. This is the time taken by the electron to travel across the length 10 meter for the wire.